Well, two comes first, one comes second. I've got two ones and one two with me today. Confused? Stay tuned for an epic explanation. And welcome to 8AR On Air. Today is an epic review. In fact, it's several epics in a review. Time to stop with the confusing puns and playing around with words and get down to reviewing the very first epic ones that have arrived in the country. For those of you who are not already aware about Epic, it is an amazing company from where it seems to be the centre of excellence currently. Czech Republic or Chechnya or Chechia, however you say it. To say these are top drawer is a bit of an understatement. Realistically, you would need a stepladder to get to the top drawer these come from. The confusing part is that they brought out the Epic 2 before bringing out the Epic 1 and no, they're not a pre-runner or upgraded model. They are simply named 1 and 2, rather than being given an alternative name like Tornado or some such high power wind linked name. I have reviewed the Epic 2 in both sub 12 foot pound option and FAC power and they are quite simply amazing but Apparently, Epic have been hounded by people to make a bullpup air weapon, and the one is the result of that request. And if this isn't the most radical or futuristic looking bullpup, then I don't know what is. Let's get closer to this, shall we? Because there is a lot to highlight. I will start with the walk around as usual, but I feel I need to state up front that this Epic One is modular, truly very modular. And the version I have here is kitted out with quite a lot of the add-ons to show you what is available. The point here is you don't have to have all this lot and may prefer to pick and choose the parts you like and or like the look of. And if you don't want any add-ons, this is what the base model looks like. And I really need to stress, this is one of those situations where the images don't represent just what this looks like in the flesh. As many of you know, tactical styling is not normally my thing, but I really think this looks Terrific. And if you think this looks good, wait until you see the special that has been done by Vector Air and will be coming in a competition near you later on. Now the weight and length dimensions are a little irrelevant because of the options lists. But I can say they start at 780 millimeters or 30 and three quarter inches long with the 420 millimeter barrel fitted. And the starting weight is 3.66 kilograms or eight pounds one ounce in the standard aluminium tube option. The weight and length is then going to be affected by your chosen barrel length. The options are 420 millimeter, 550 millimeter, which is the length I have here and a 700 millimeter length. And with what air tank you're choosing as well, aluminium or carbon fiber. There are lots more, but I'll talk about those as we work our way around this one. From the front, the barrel. Well, straight away we find something that is very trick. Very trick indeed. You see, the 550mm CZ unchoked barrel has a real carbon shroud around it, and the end is actually a silencer. But with the difference, you see this has a half inch UNF thread on the end and allows you to add additional silencers if you want to. And if you do, wow, now it is very quiet as it is, but forget the words moderator or suppressor, silencer is the correct choice if you do add an additional silencer on the end. It is quite incredibly quiet. Above this barrel is the optional top rail system, which looks 
awesome. This carries the weavy rail for fitting your preferred sighting options. Below this is the carbon bottle, which on this version is a 580cc bottle that will go to a full 300 bar fill pressure, giving you enough shots to win most any top trumps game down the range, certainly in sub 12 version. Under this is the optional Arca Swiss railed cradle system, which is anodized alloy, the same as the top rail. This Arca Swiss, Arca, I can't even say it. This Arca Swiss system will then mate up with the Epic tripod or other makes, which are now coming into the marketplace, as this system is quickly becoming the go-to bottom rail type. At the neck of the bottle is the filler port and the epic labelled white on black air gauge which is big, bright and clear. Moving further back we come to the main body which houses the same superb side lever of the epic 2 which is smooth, solid and exceptionally well engineered. And to make this truly ambidextrous, this can be changed to whichever side you prefer. Below this is the regulator gauge. And below this is the fully adjustable match grade trigger, which is an absolute pleasure to use. The safety is an anodized red in trigger system, which is back for fire and forward for safe. Bit odd, but there it is. It is sure and defined in use. This one, this one, is fitted with the optional straight up grip, which is skeletal, ultra light and quite the handful. The standard fitment is the AR15 grip in a choice of designs and colours. Moving to the rear, there is the magazine port below the cheek rest. This takes an aluminium magazine, which is pretty unique in its design. This is the 17714 round caliber 177 caliber 14 round magazine and at first it is quite confusing how to load this but when you get to it it is actually very simple just remove the magnetically held front plate then turn the internal wheel anti-clockwise until it stops drop in your pellet head first it'll then hold it in place and then simply fill in the gaps. Now one thing to point out is that these are very deep recesses, which means putting slugs in here with whatever power level you have is no issue. Once you've got it all loaded up, you simply return the magnetic front cover, pull back, drop into the gun. Simple. The last thing to look at is the rear butt pad, which at first glance looks completely bizarre and almost misplaced. But when you shoulder this, it is really comfortable and in exactly the right place. This is, however, adjustable forwards and backwards and will even take a bag riser if you want. This also takes a quick release sling stud. In its stripped down aluminium tube setup, you have a lighter pest control tool or with full accessories, you have a target gun of ultra high standards. Time to get this then over the chronograph to check out the power levels on this sub 12 foot pound version. Using standard 8.44 grain pellets, it saw 795 feet per second, which is 11.85 foot-pounds, or 16.07 joules. Then I thought I'd try some heavier 10.34 grain pellets, and it saw 720 feet per second, which is a meaty 11.91 foot-pounds, or 16.15 joules which is more than enough for a spot of pest control. Naturally, the FAC version is capable of much higher power levels 
and both the Sub-12 and FAC versions are capable of using slugs because of that unchoked CZ barrel. Time to get this even more dressed up with a decent scope for the target work. I will be adding a Taurus scope, but not just any Taurus scope. This is the new 4 to 16 34 mm tube Taurus, which is about a third of the price you would expect it to be. It is simply awesome, and I have fitted it to my personal ADT Vulcan 3, and I love it. Anyway, out on the range at 40 meters then. Here we go. Bit of a treat today. Um, <laughs> in fact, it's a, just this first really, really nice day we've had, and I'm going to use this opportunity. I've got quite a few guns to test. Uh, I've had a look and a play with them very briefly, but this is the first time of shooting them. So I'm going to be shooting about four different guns today, but this is, today, is the Epic One. Now, this has been in a pipeline for quite some time. It's not the pre-runner or whatever of the two it's just how they've named them they've named them one named them two they could have named them fred and they could have named them frida it's got nothing to do with the sequential order if you like but this one is as they're requested uh, a, to make a bullpup so they made a bullpup and what a piece of kit it is too. It is purpose built. You can tell there's the hints from the two, but it is not the two in a cut down version. Far from it. It is a completely different gun. The one I've got here is pretty much fully loaded. And what I've actually done, I put the Ford 16 Taurus on top, which is the new Taurus, which is a 34 mil tube. And at the price it's at, it's on unbelievably good and it's unbelievably good value so much so that I've actually put these now on a couple of my guns already so I really really like the scope so I want to try that out as well see how we go this is as I say the fully dressed up one and I was going to use the epic tripod which is an amazing piece of kit and I must admit that Rockstad have done one very similar uh, which is a bit cheaper and they are fantastic but the last time i used it people were complaining oh you're cheating you've got it on i keep saying so many times this is not to test my skills it's to test the guns if i could wedge it in a workmate i would to test the barrel but everybody gets upset if i go anywhere near that sort of thing so yes you're going to get my faults in this and hopefully I can do good enough to show just how good these guns are. They're not budget one, I'll make no bones of it. These are premium guns and they are worth it. Uh, the full price you'll get at the end of the video as normal. But let's give it a go, 40 meters, only a 4 to 16 scope on this and let's see how we fare. I have purposely and only very quickly zeroed this scope in high because it's the group that we're interested in, not the bullseye. If I shoot the bullseye out, I've got nothing left to aim at. So I will be aiming at the bullseye. I'm expecting this to shoot high. Bit of a breeze from time to time. Hey, we've got what we've got. Let's give it a go, shall we? It. There's very little noise coming from this at all and you can still put yet another silencer on the front if you want to which is absolutely bizarre. 
it is a beautiful thing it's very comfortable and the one thing that is the shock is where the butt stock is the the butt pad you think it's all in the wrong place it's not it fits perfectly to be fair fits perfectly let's go and have a look shall we and see the results breeze is getting up a bit but hey now do not ask me what on earth i did with that one <laughs> no idea but all the rest as you can see pretty much touching you get them in the size pretty much of my little finger now so yeah I could have kept going kept going kept going what I've actually done I've used the remainder of the magazine that I used for just zeroing it in so yeah it's it's well capable it's well it's not well capable it's blooming accurate and it would benefit from the tripod or somebody who's not running up and down the field all the time i just think it is absolutely superb if i'd got more time i would sit and shoot this all day then you'd see them really really coming in superb absolutely superb back to the studio not only is it what i was expecting it to be but it was so comfortable to use and that trigger is simply a dream straight out of the box now this does come with one of those heavy duty epic hard cases included and one of the solid magazines whatever version you opt for that is the price is going to be the next question and i will admit this is not an entry level budget gun far from it this is for the more frequent shooter who is on the search for perfection the starting price is around 1650 pounds uk and from there its pricing will depend upon how much you want to dress yours up to me this is a breath of fresh air from all the highly marketed and available from all over the place companies and dare I say probably better engineered and finished and yet competing very closely with them on price this is engineering at its best and not a single piece of electronics which needs switching off and back on again or some equivalent of control alt delete every time you want to shoot it fill it with air point it at what you want to hit and it's a foregone conclusion epic Hopefully you've enjoyed this review of the all-new Epic One. And if you have, please give us the old thumbs up. I will be reviewing the FAC version in the near future, so you may well want to hit the subscribe button and the notification alarm bell to be sure you don't miss that review. Joining the AAR On Air website will also ensure you're able to enter the up-and-coming competitions for a very special version of this Epic One. And that is the only way you'll be able to enter the competitions. A big thank you to Vector Air, who are sole importers for Epic. They have worked very closely with them to get the right options for the UK market. A big thank you to you guys for watching. Please stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully I'll see you all next week. <laughs> Bye for now. I just love this. Yeah, wait till we get the next one.